Report on TSL Nigeria TV, where we have news on politics, sports, entertainment, and so much more. Did you know that we also have feature stories where we talk about nothing but everything? It's the Breakfast Show on TSL Nigeria TV. And welcome to the breakfast show and TSL Mindjury TV. My name is Adru Omegeri. I'm super excited to tell you that I'm not in the studio alone today. I have my ladies on set with me. Good morning. Good morning, morning. love. How are you doing? Good morning, Joyce. How are you today? I'm all right. How are you doing? I'm fine, Joan. How are you today? I'm fine. So uh, we're going straight to the newspaper review for today. And with me here is the Guardian for Tuesday, June 2018. Top story says: Listen to Obasanjo. Others, Fulani leaders, urge Buhari. Caution precedent over crisis across nation. 30 confirmed killed, 42 injured in fresh Bornu attack. Tension in Taraba as suspected head headers sack communities. NYSC ponders safety of core members. Now, on the picture story, we have Cardinal Youth and Community Development Volunteers protesting against alleged non swearing in of two members elect for Cardinal State House of Assembly in Cardinal yesterday. And then we also have how insecurity induces high prices of food items, may hamper interest rate cut, alter CBN's T bills pricing. Also, we have Ondo Youth Barricade Governor's Office demand Osopadek autonomy. News on page 7. Suspected militants kill soldiers, two NSCDC operatives in Rivers. News on page 10. And then for the last one, we have Ogetola Adele case Council make last minute defense at Supreme Court. News on page 4. And for sports, Gallant Super Egg Falcons lose 0 to 1 to France. Sad. So they're finally out of the game. Yeah. All right, Joyce, what do you have for us? I have with me the Vanguard for Tuesday, June 18, 2019. The major story King Yube, why I abandoned June 12 for a bachelor's daughter. And uh, for our picture story, we have flag off of Osho Papa Roadwork in 2018. A file photo from left managing director, Nigerian Port Authority, Ms. Adiza Bala Usman, president of Dangote Group, Al Haji Aliko Dangote, former Lagos State Governor, Mr. Akin Miyambode, former Minister of Power, Work and Housing, Mr. Babatunde Fashola, and former Chairman of the Senate Committee on Works, Senator Kabiru Gaya, during the flag ceremony for the reconstruction of Apapa Oshudi. Ojota Expressway in Lagos, November 17, 2018, first provided by KND Shunola. And also we have Osho Diapapa Expressway, no concrete plans to restore lasting sanity investigation. You can find this story on page 10. Delta Community on Warpath with Indian Firm. You can find the story on page 33. Nandere in Distress, Anglican Communion. You can find the story on page 15. The world population has hit 7.7 billion as men outnumber women in Nigeria. You can find the story on page 14. And in sports stories, attention war. Egypt coach vows to quit if all you want to find out and um, get your uh, sports vanguard for today, June 18th, 2019. All right, John, what do you have for us? Okay, we may use the Nigerian Tribune. We only experimented with Sava, didn't use it for 2019. Poe, INEC insists. Promised automatic employment for 75 ad hoc NYC members. Wari Mons is dead to die, 42 injured in Bronu's suicide attack. That's on page 7. And we have a grant court in scandal. Court rejects EFCC on certified documents. That's on page 29. And lastly, we have no cause order stopped pro into Kanu Emirates funds, says anti graft agency. That's on page 29. All right, Joyce, do you have one more? Yes, the Nigerian Observer for today, Tuesday, June 18, 2019. Excitements as Samuel Obemudia Stadium takes shape in Benin City. 
major story activities begin at a dope production center picture story we have appointment at their state governor mr gordon obasiki right congratulating the newly appointed accountant general of the state mr julius anilu as the government house in benin city cbn's push will boost oil palm production in a dairy state or basiki in 2019 elections i make promises automatic employment for ad hoc nysc members and in sports afghan nigeria can be shocked in Group b warned wilfred in dd and uh, as always we're going to wrap up the newspaper review with the mr and mrs segment of the vanguard newspaper okay. so mr goes off and he says a lady sent me a romantic SMS. And so, why don't you mind your business? Due to your negative vibes, my phone just fell into a pool of water. And Mrs. says, Water, eh? I know you would meet your Waterloo one day. <laughs> And, uh, and like always, we're going to move into our history for today. And today is one that really makes me excited because I'm such a huge Beatles fan. But on today, this day in June 18, 1942, Sir James Paul McCartney was born. Now, Sir James Paul McCartney is a singer, songwriter, multi-instrumentalist and a composer. And he is more known for being the bass guitarist and a member of one of the greatest groups of all time, the Beatles. Now, this group is widely considered to be the most popular and influential group in the history of pop music and is one of the most successful composers and performers of all time now he has written or co-written 32 songs that have been at the number one on the billboard hot 100 he's a two-time inductee into the rock and roll hall of fame and has 18 grammy awards now he's also one of the wealthiest musicians in the world with an estimated net worth of 1.2 billion dollars wow. happy birthday to you sir paul happy mccartney it's a lot of money and a lot of time happy yeah. birthday daddy <laughs> well, daughter is yes sir <laughs> and that's it for the newspaper review for today and wonderful history for today but we're going to a short break when we return we'll be talking about social media influencers their influence on us don't go anywhere Thank you so much for sticking around. This is the Breakfast Show and TSN Nigeria TV. Now, this conversation today is one that really, really excites me because I may or may not be a social media junkie. Now, with the unraveling and growth of several new marketing techniques and the increase in the number of internet users, marketers have come down to social media as the number one ground for business to customer marketing, using def several different marketing styles and strategies and campaigns, bombarding users with so much information that may leave them overwhelmed. First, the birth of influencer marketing. Now, a social media influencer is a user that has a large following and expertise in his or her niche and has the power to persuade or convince the followers to make cash purchases. Now, this morning, my ladies and I are going to be delving into the big conversation. What powers do social media influencers have on us? Good morning. Good morning. So, I'm going to jump into it first of all. Social media influencers. Do you even believe in social media influencers? Apparently, they are social media influencers. So, apparently, I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> I actually talk about They're actually social media influencers, mm -hmm. people who help people's business get better. Mm -hmm. Now, it's been so rampant that because it, it, I read an article and it said that this is a way to reach out to the millennials because mm -hmm. there are no, 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 there's no way they are following the traditional way. She of can't always on your phone. Anyway. You are among the people that are always on their phone. I plead the and so, and so, so these are ways that people have employed, companies have employed to um, market their products, mm -hmm. get, get people interested. So you see someone you really like and look up to, you want to, you know, buy the product. I guess. John, what do you think? Okay. 
from me. I believe there are social media influencers, but I don't really believe in them. Oh, hmm. yeah, okay. I am this school of thought that because I look up to you, it doesn't mean anything you just recommend and I want to use it. I mm. feel, yeah, it may work for you, good and fine, but that doesn't mean it's work for me. So I really do not believe in social media influencers. Did you ever do that hairstyle with Hannah? No, I didn't. You didn't? You never wore boot cut jeans? Flair no. jeans, you never did no. show no. You never did anything that was trending in your entire I, life. I, I, I don't like trendy stuff. So you never did anything that was trending in your, your entire life. I'm going to go down and check pictures. Everybody did yeah. Rihanna. <laughs> I will not I, I didn't do it, but it doesn't matter. That, 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 because that, that, my face is fat. That's why I didn't do it. Okay. First of all, it took a while for me to actually follow trends. I think I waved a little for it to be a bit yeah. too not so Sometimes. everywhere mm -hmm. it's, you know and then when it initially comes out everybody's doing the same hairstyle now do you guys feel like you've ever been influenced by a social media influencer if ever, have you ever bought something because a person there now I feel, like, I feel like we should all understand fully what social media influencers are for example let's take uh, there's these ones that are trending on in twitter right now and they're medical doctors that talk way too much now what they do is they do a lot of treads where they tell you about something that's happening in the medical world something that you should know and um, maybe how to take antibiotics kind of drugs you shouldn't take in general like that and because of that reason they garner a couple of followers that want to get information on the go and things like that yeah. now if you're a feminist odds are you're going to follow some feminist accounts on twitter if you're uh into patriarchy you're going to find some patriarchy strong patriarchy people to follow if you want career advancement you're going to find people that always talk about doing cvs like this write your application like this yeah. what you should do in the interview like this so at any point in your life have you seen a person that you know have expertise in a niche give random advice and then you did it because you were confident in that person's expertise I won't say I've actually had anybody I, in particular. I just Google mm -hmm. and then I just see different options. If, if it was for a CV, I Google it and I check, okay, should I do like this? Should I do like this? If it was for a product. I should start with, are you actually strong on social media? Uh, not necessarily. This process is not for you. <laughs> <laughs> Joanne, are you strong on social media? Yeah, I would say Instagram. Okay. Facebook. Yeah, so uh, what I do is when I come across the internet, I want to do something, I just go through the search buttons, I look for things that, like she said, different options, and I just pick one. Yeah. I really don't focus on one person. So I was saying that the, the power of social media influencers is just now, is in their own minds. No, because it's not. because no, according it's not to a research in 2017, the social media influencing industry by 2020 is going to be worth eight billion dollars. That is the amount that brands are investing in the social media influencers. I'll give you guys an example. There's this lemon thing that girls are wearing these days. It's lemon or neon green. I'm not sure. It's snake print. The first time I saw it was on Kim Kardashian. Yeah. And now everybody and their dog has that dress. The dog. <laughs> the dog has it. <laughs> So if they can do this by just one person wearing it, do you strongly believe that they are not influencing people? They're influencing people. It's just, you know, we are the few that is not being influenced. Who is we? When, uh, Joy, speak the truth. <laughs> you're not being influenced. Now, we're the few that's not being influenced, but it's rampant. People mm -hmm. actually buy this idea. Like you said, when Rihanna came out, I was in school then. I mean, every young girl was on Rihanna short hair mm -hmm. like everyone that came out that period everybody was doing it or talk about a particular braid that comes out that beyonce does everybody beyonce not be never beyonce no <laughs> everybody is doing it now mm -hmm. you see those influence now they it's actually working and companies have seen that this is a way for them to promote their brand and they're taking advantage of it i Who think it's working it? okay working okay so you guys believe that's the only way to reach millennials it's a big yes for me it's yeah. definitely a big way to reach people because yeah. they're always on their phone yeah so you young people when you're on facebook you young people <laughs> anyway it's when you're on facebook and you're scrolling through okay uh, for me I, I do more facebook and then it's, you're, you're constantly saying stuff that you want that they want you to click on and then you think that that it is over before you go fight you see it again you're like what's going on okay let me just see do you understand even if maybe you probably don't go ahead and purchase the product mm -hmm. you actually just go through and you're like oh okay 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 this is what this is what's going on, sir. 
All right, so we're taking lots of comments on this conversation. Please go on to TSL on Jared TV and let me know if you have ever been influenced by a social media influencer. Have you ever seen something posted by Ninja Brand Chick and you were immediately interested in it? <laughs> the, the Jagaban of IG, that's a real page. The, the Jagaban of IG put up a, a blouse and say that, you know, this blouse, I bought it when I was going somewhere and the blouse has changed my life. And for that reason, you have bought it. Have you ever seen Tuck and Marking One do a hairstyle and you're like, do you know what? Tuck and Marking One has done it. So I and my children must also do it. <laughs> So let me know if you feel like you have been influenced by social media influencers at any point in your life. Now, let us go down to breaking a myth. Now, a very strong myth, or I feel like a confusion people have had in marketing these days, is the difference between a social media marketer and a social media influencer. Does anybody have an idea? Should I just go in? Okay, for me, I think I have, I have an idea. Okay. So, a marketer is when you just post stuff mm -hmm. on your page, but for an influencer, I think you get to pay them to influence their audience mm -hmm. to actually buy that product. You pay the both of them, actually. For, oh, I mean, you, have, you have a higher, higher chance of paying the marketer than even paying an influencer. Please go on. So I, I feel that what happens most times is influencers basically has so much more followers, so much more followers, and they they have an, in, an influence to say because they showcase a product, more people are interested in wanting to buy that product. I think they go hand in hand. They don't. They go hand in hand because they both marketing a product. No, they're different because an influencer can actually make you do a thing. And let me give you a case in point. There's this mm -hmm. woman called Oloni okay. on Twitter and Instagram. She's a sex and relationship blogger. You know, she, she mostly talks about sex and sex toys and relationship advice and stuff. Now, she does influencing sometimes. The brands pay her to do this thing or that thing. If Oloni comes and says that, wow, I just tried this new sex toy with my man, and let me tell you, my life has changed, they are going to oversell that day. Mm. Now, she didn't even say go and buy. She just said that, you know, I tried this one thing and it worked. If Ninja brand she comes out tomorrow and say, wow, look at this T-shirt that I just got from this brand. Wow, this T-shirt is so comfortable. That brand is going to oversell that day okay. just because. Then now, a social media is. marketer is a person that has a large following and has no niche whatsoever. They just have a large following. And they build those accounts in different ways. They can build the account by slandering people. You just insult people, insult people, insult people. Let me put follow you think you're funny. Before you know, you start advertising things. <laughs> An example of a social media marketer is Instablog. Okay, yes. They post a bunch of different things. There's Tunde Ebnot. Yeah. He doesn't really have a team that he does. Mm. He just has a lot of followers. And then once in, once in a while, he does adverts and people are going to look into it. Mm. So as a brand owner, for example, you're asking yourself, who do you think that you'd favor more if you wanted to do business? The influencer or the marketer? Now, the marketer most likely will have more followers than the influencer. Keep that in mind. You're definitely looking for and who has more followers. Wait than now. <laughs> wait now. The, the marketer is going to have more followers. Keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. And the marketer is going to have a mix of different people. So let's say the marketer has one million followers okay. and you want to sell sanitary products, which means you're looking for women within the age of menstruation. And that one million followers, they may or may not just have 200,000 women okay. on that platform. Now, for an influencer, if you still want to say sanitary product, you could have a woman that is a strong um, belief, a person that believes in women's rights and stuff like that. She pushes about that. She has an NGO. She goes to IDP to share pads and stuff. And you want to introduce a brand new sanitary pad product into the market. She has just 100,000 followers. And the social media marketer has 1.5 million followers. Who would you go for? I go for the influencer. Why? Because, because people are moved by words. People are moved by people with passion. Mm. Now, if this person you're talking about ha actually is a passionate person that has preached this this old child care thing, mm -hmm. and then says, and then I say, I give you my products. I know that even if it's just a hundred people that comes out, I know that those same hundred people will preach to another hundred people. That you don't know that products. because at least let, let's work with what we have and what we are sure. Mm -hmm. People like passion. That's one thing I know. Mm -hmm. That people would are more motivated to do more stuff because they are passionate about it. Mm -hmm. and I like to listen to Joyce, for example. Oh my God, I you. like to listen to her and everything. You and said it twice. <laughs> Sorry, <go> and, then, <laughs> and then I like to listen to you as a person, and then mm -hmm. you know you you're very passionate, and then you have a particular cause you're following. Mm -hmm. I want to say 
influence my products you know, mm -hmm. put it all out there and say this is a good product and say you know do what you do and talk about it mm -hmm. because i know people will listen to you people are moved by words more like a, a marketer on the other hand as much as you want to um let a, a business you want everybody to see so that at least everybody has an idea mm -hmm. i think i i believe that influencer has more influence remember <laughs> that the marketer <laughs> has more eyes now a study shows that when a person falls in love with a song, is in a song, for example, that the person has heard that song ten times. That even if the person did not like it the first nine times, on the tenth time, their brain has no choice but to like the song. So now put that into your product. This is a million people's eyes on your product at the exact same time, as opposed to hundred thousand followers of any random influencer. I think I'll still go for the influencer. Well, I, I, Come on, if Kim K comes out now and do something, I know you are going to... How can you use Kim K? That's unfair to every other influencer. <laughs> no, 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 you can do it. Like, no, okay. So I believe I'll go for an influencer, being that, for instance, let's be like a celebrity. Mm -hmm. if, if I like someone like Tokemake mm -hmm. and she comes out to do something, because I like her, I'm willing. I want to try that, that product okay. compared to the marketer. And then, for influencer, I believe they keep once in a while, they keep going back and um, reposting your, your, um, well, I say your business or your stuff. But for the market, I want to just post it. They are done. So well, it depends on how many posts you pay for. If you pay, if you pay an influencer for one post, they will post it once. Okay. So if you pay a marketer again, for one post, they will post but it then, once. But then again, influencer. I think when I like you and you, as an influencer, you post something. Mm -hmm. Thousands will really to want to. Um, follow that stuff you post mm -hmm. just because they like you, mm -hmm. just for who you are. Yet. So I feel I'll go for an influencer because I think they have more more influence in um, in actually marketing your product. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, we have a couple of comments. Uh, Adrian, you want to get us covered on that? Yeah, we have Mackinday saying, Lovely show, missed my Adrian, missed you too. Your ladies look, and she also says, You ladies are fired to do nice outfits. Thank you. Okay, now let us jump into the final question that I have for today because this is 2019. One thing I love the most about us millennials is that we have so many career options open to us. You know, mm -hmm. I, I was watching an episode of Blackish and he was not going to go to college, one of their children, because the Migos paid him to be their Twitter manager to manage their Twitter. And he said because of that, he wasn't going to go to college. So we have such a wide range of careers that are open to us. But the question I want to ask you guys is this. Is social media influencer a job? Some people are making money out of That's it. That's not what I asked you. People, people are making money from position <laughs> too. Please answer my question. Do you believe deep in your heart, like, let's say you're 45 years old now, your child that you've sent to the best schools comes up and like, mommy, I have something to tell you. Okay. I'm going to be an influencer. I will. For me, it's, first of all, it's a choice. I cannot be the one to make my child's choice. I, I won't do that. But one of the things that I want to be sure of is why is he doing it? Mm -hmm. What does he stand to gain? Mm -hmm. And all that. So those are the questions I would ask. Mm -hmm. So if a social media influencing now a job, many people are making money from it. Mm -hmm. It's working for you. Please keep doing it. Now, uh, it has to be something that works for you. Many times, many of these people have other things they do. Mm -hmm. Like right Sometimes now, they don't. right now we have a lot of options for business. You can work from your phone. Mm -hmm. You can do a lot of things. So if if social media influencing is work for you, why not? Do you think it's a why job? Why money out of it? Joyce, I know you like money. Yeah. Well, well, you, know, you just need to think about it because first of all, to get to the point where you're going to start getting paid, you have to be dedicated for a long time. People have to have known you for a while before they start trusting you to buy things that you said to buy. And still sometimes they will not buy. For example, a lady that they know got surgery for her flat stomach starts selling detox tea. Nobody's going to buy it. Buy, yeah. But that is an influencer. That is what she's doing. So, John, do you think that it is a job? That is a job job. You can put it in your LinkedIn profile. Joan, uh, influencer. <laughs> okay, anything that brings in money, I think is a job. What brings in money? What's going on? No, what I'm trying to say is this. If you're, if you're a social media influencer, mm -hmm. then you have a backup plan. Like, don't, don't just go, like, Time, she have something do you know to that? fall back in. Tommy, that I see something, just have something to fall back So, it's not a job to you, not really. Not really. See, so like it is working 
for them. I don't see why it's not a job. If you're making a million bucks from one post, why not? Do you know how long it takes for you to make a million bucks from one post? Hard work pays. Which, which, which hard work people can actually do? Well, she has the info and she has Exactly. Them. It's kind of like a, know it's kind of like a stars falling, aligning in your place. Say, for example, now, I feel like influencing is a job that is reserved for a select few if okay. you do not have a day job. For example, there are travel influencers. Who are travel influencers? These are travel bloggers that have traveled to so many different places. Then um, airlines start paying them or exotic locations start paying them. They'll pay for their flight. They'll fly them to their own location, make them stay there for a while and post about it. And for that reason, post start flying there because uh, Adriel has gone there. Adriel said the place is nice. Yeah. But before you get that amount of followers yeah, you know how many places you've traveled to if your daddy is not dangote <laughs> <laughs> how are you going to do it so it is something that a young person that doesn't have the financial backing yet can aspire to do you can start from I, I feel you can start from anywhere you can start these days we can start from anywhere so start posting on your phone start start start, start saying stuff if you want mm -hmm. to be a travel travel um, influencer like you said you have to start talking about places mm -hmm. you have to start gaining experience start by traveling inside nigeria first which is very expensive <laughs> yeah, yeah but it's, it's, it, it is something it's passion is the drive now Trace, mm -hmm. why are you doing like this you have to be passionate about it you have to be driven i'm passionate about eating in the morning, you have to buy food. No, no, it's not. Wake up in the morning and traveling. Do you know how much from here to Lagos on flights? Anyways, <laughs> we're going to wrap up right now. We're going to give you some few tips on how you can be a social media influencer. Adriel just started with her own saying, post stuff. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and tell yeah. you that you have to be passionate about something. Now, the power of being an influencer is not just gathering a bunch of followers. You can gather a bunch of followers by posting in your brown pants. You can gather a bunch of followers by wearing fake jewelry. You can gather a bunch of followers by making funny videos on Instagram, on Twitter, and Facebook. But for you to be an influencer, you have to be known in a niche. You have to be known in a particular thing. So, first of all, try to get expertise. And even if you cannot get expertise, whatever it is you're doing at this moment, try to get enough information and a way to put it out there for example you are a presenter you can start making videos about tips on how to be a better radio presenter tips on how to make your voice sound nicer on your microphone tips on how to uh, host a red carpet you're a doctor you can give tips on the kind of food to eat to lose weight uh, let's say you're a gym your gym um, instructor, the kind of things to wear when you're at the gym, the kind of shoes that are for running and the ones that are for fashion. Just make sure that you're always giving yeah. content yeah. that is valuable yeah. to your followers. John, what do you think? Yeah. Do you have any yeah. tips to drop there? I think I'd have said it all. I've said it all. Yeah. Yes, and please grow your following. That is the way to do it. And a lot of people do this thing when you know your following is, is larger than your followers. You're not an influencer. That's not how it works. You have to have more followers to your following. That is, that is how you're going to be an influencer. So learn the strategic ways to grow your social media. Learn how to create content that your followers want to see. And finally, understand the social media platforms that work for you. Yeah. For example, if you're a career person, your power is not on Instagram. Most likely, your power is going to be on LinkedIn because a lot of career-oriented people are on that platform. If it's about looks and body, your power is not on Twitter. Your power is on Instagram. You're a makeup artist, you're a photographer. A place for pictures is where you have your power. If you're an intellectual person that wants to give off a lot of information, your power is most likely on Twitter. So find a, find a platform that works for you and work your niche and get that money. Maraji said that she earns up to half a million per post for ads. 500,000, one name is a lot. So <laughs> yes. <laughs> do that and at this juncture we're going to come to the end of this wonderful conversation thank you so much for joining us we'll be here again tomorrow wednesday Adrian, what are we doing tomorrow I'm doing sex no, so should we keep it on low low first should we hide it hide it we're gonna hide it okay. we'll be here tomorrow to let you know my name is joyce jokes and i'm adrian mogadi and i'm joining have yourself a lovely week and good morning <laughs>